Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Ricky and today I'm gonna to show you how to repair and paint your wheels. can see I am not at the shop. This is actually my personal garage in my house. So uh, from now on because of this COVID-19 and we all being affected, I am gonna actually going to start doing videos from my house. And today I'm going to show you how to repair and paint your wheels. So some of the stuff that you guys are gonna need, you can use plastic. You're also gonna need a heat gun and a sander, uh, obviously some sandpaper. I'm using uh, 80 grit sandpaper, 180, 320, and 400. Uh, 3M Bondo Dent Repair Kit. You're gonna need some latex gloves so you can protect your hands. Masking paper. So you're gonna need your Gorilla Grip gloves from Throttle, of course. And we are also gonna be using our Meguiar's uh, Detailer Kit, the uh, Citrus Power Cleaner Plus, and we're gonna be using the non-acid wheel and tire cleaner. For paint, I'm gonna be using some self-edging primer, non-glossy matte wheel clear coat. We're gonna be using some aircraft uh, paint remover and we're gonna use some acetone. Other than that, let's get started. All right guys, so the first thing you guys wanna do, you wanna get something that you guys can put the wheel on top of. And the first step is actually gonna be putting the uh, aircraft paint stripper. And you can use any paint stripper, I just really, really, really like this one. This works really, really well. Uh, and you get the fastest results with this one. So what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be shaking the bottle very well. Make sure you have your gloves and eye protection on. You're gonna spray the whole thing. Oh, I gotta take the valve. First off, take the valve stamp off. Make sure you get a nice, even coat all the way around the wheel. Every spoke, every space available. Now when you guys have the uh, the paint stripper working, uh, the next thing you should do is prep the floor. So I already swept my entire garage and I mopped it. Uh, and that's so that way you don't get any uh, any debris in the air landing on your wheels while you paint it. So I already did that. Uh, now that that's done, I'm gonna lay down my plastic cover so that way when I paint the wheels, I don't get the entire floor full of overspray. Now the next step is gonna be prepping everything. So I have one, I have 80 grit, I have 180, 320, and 400. And that's gonna be so we can start sanding down all the imperfections in the wheel and we can start prepping it. Once we do this portion, then we're gonna move into adding the body filler so we can get all those uneven surfaces on the edge of the wheel. Now, some of you guys may be thinking, why not just weld aluminum to it, which you totally can, but I usually go to the aluminum, uh, welding aluminum to it when it comes to like a crack wheel or a really big part of the wheel missing. In this case, that's not the case, but these wheels were, they're not very expensive wheels. If you were to be doing some type of like works wheels or race or something like a really high-end brand, that's like four thousand dollars with six thousand dollar wheels i totally get it you should definitely uh, get a welder and get it done he has some really cheap wheels that our editor victor has and he was just gonna just clean them with the greaser and spray over it and i told him look let me just do a quick video on this and then i'll return the wheels back in better shape right so i like my my lips clean on my wheels so whenever i i scuff them or some something happens to one of my wheels I, this is the process that i use especially if i'm changing the color uh, if you guys go to the link description below, you guys are gonna find everything you need so you guys can make the complete order so you guys can fix your wheels. So now we are gonna clean the wheel with our Meguiar's wheel cleaner. All right guys, 
next step is gonna be me drying the wheel now. I have a small uh, compressor tank, which I'm gonna be uh, air blowing. And while using a clean rag also, I'm gonna be blowing this thing up, drying it, and prepping it for the uh, next step. Wow, this thing has seen better days. This is not from the paint stripper. This is what was here before whoever laid the last set of the last paint on it. The paint stripper does not do that. All right guys, the next thing I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be working on the lips. I'm gonna start marking down again the big, big areas that I wanna focus on. Like this one, this right here, this area. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab my electric sander and I'm gonna put an 80 grit sandpaper on it and I'm gonna start doing the surface of the edge right now. All right, so check this out. This is a major repair that needs to be done. But all this right here, if you guys keep going just a bit more, all that will go away. Well, try to keep it even. Um, don't think that you're gonna take the lip out. The lip is extremely, extremely thick. Uh, you'll be able to sand down until all this disappears. So what I like to do next, before I start doing the body work, I like to hit with the um, with the sander. I like to go sideways like this, the 90 degree angle. Uh, that way I can start making the same lip straight as possible. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go straight, just like this, and and whatever's like like right here, you can feel like some of the dents went over, and I'm gonna trim all that down to make sure it's perfectly, perfectly even. All right, this is just sanding, sanding down only. The lip is all wrong. It's about 80%. Like I said, the lip is really, really thick, so you can, don't be afraid to sand down. It's pretty good, so let me grab a marker. I'm gonna mark all the areas. This for sure. A small spot. Right here we have a huge spot. Mm, that's it. So I'm gonna start working on those three right now. All right, so now that I kind of smooth that out, I'm gonna wipe this down with acetone. And then after I wipe it down with acetone, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna use to fix it. All right, so I'm gonna talk about the repair kit that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using this Scratch Rock Ship Repair Kit. This one has what we need for this application. The body filler already pre-mixed so you don't have to do anything you literally just take it out apply it and let it dry and you can sand it after that it comes with all the sandpaper you need and it comes with the spreader and it's already mixed already ready to go so as soon as it hits the atmosphere it's going to start drying so i'm going to take a little bit of this paste off and i'm just going to put it where it needs to be i'm going to make it really fat that way when i sand it down i'll be able to smooth it out uh, the way that i want to i'm just going to take it out now, let me do this one first and I'm, I'm tacking it in there so I can make sure that everything is completely covered inside. There's no air bubbles or anything. Just gonna spread it just like this. And guys, this is really, really easy to sand down. So don't be afraid to put a lot over it. I'm leaving that one just like that. And then on this side. So we'll let it dry for about 15 minutes. Once it's done drying, then we'll just start shining it down. 15 minutes later. All right guys, so I had it outside for about 15 minutes. And you can see it's almost, almost dry. And this one, it seems like it's still a little bit wet down here. So I'm gonna leave that. And I'm gonna start sanding this one and that one for now. I have these blocks here that I made so it can help me get around the edges. Just like this and like that. And I'm gonna use the flat surface right now so I can get this top portion. And this is the 180 grit. I'm not gonna go as strong as 80. Same 
anything on the side. All right, so when I'm using the heat gun to assist me to dry these uh, body filler, I'm gonna start sanding down the rest of the lip with 180 grit, and then I'm gonna continue on to sand down the wheel itself with the same thing 180 grit to start off with. tiny bit left so it can be smooth so I'm gonna throw primer there just to make sure that it is uh, covered with the primer I'll be able to see if it's smooth or not uh, and then I have to wait for those two to dry before I can throw it over there so I'm gonna do that next uh, you guys see that you guys here you guys can still see a little bit of the uh, the wave so I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna sand that down I'm gonna put a little bit more bondo I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna do it again. Like, if you guys want this thing to look perfect, you have to take your time. It depends on your style or what you're looking for. Uh, this would've been my world, I would've not even done that. I would've just sand it down, paint it, and get it over with. But, you guys are trying to make it spec it. Uh, we're gonna do another layer of bondo there. And then I'm gonna sand this down now. This one, and this one down. If you just wanna restyle it, just sand it down and paint it, baby, that's it. But we're not doing that now. Not restyle today. <laughs> All right guys, so now that I have everything ready to go, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mask the side of the wheel with this, which is just like, it's like masking paper. As tape at the end and this uh, piece of paper falls down and I'll be able to cover most of the wheel. Remember, I'm only doing the face of the wheel. A few moments later. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lay the first layer of uh, primer and it's gonna be a very light coat. Every 10 minutes I'm gonna do a separate layer, so. It's gonna be multiple layers of primer. Once I know that uh, the entire face is covered with primer, then I'll stop there, I'll let it dry for another 10 minutes and I'm gonna start my, my color of the wheel. A few minutes later. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes and I'm gonna do the second one. All right, so there you have it. I just applied the third and last coat of primer. And that depends on, on you and how well your primer covers. This one took three layers for it to cover completely. I'm gonna let that dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. No longer than 30. Never let paint dry longer than 30 minutes. Anything over that, your paint can start wrinkling after you do this, the, uh, another layer of paint. So after this, it's gonna be the actual color. I'm gonna use this dupli color paint to just to lay out like a base coat, like the very, very thin coat, which is what I did on the other three wheels. And I'm gonna use the VHT to finish it off uh, because that's the exact same thing that I did on the other wheels and I don't want these wheels to have a different shade. And that's what I mean by a base coat, just a very, very thin layer of paint. On the next coat, we're gonna throw it uh, a very wet, thick coat. Um, all three coats of gold are already being laid. After this, it's gonna be the clear coat. All right guys, when it comes to the clear coat, uh, our buddy wanted the matte look, the uh, non-glossy. Um, and at first I was like, eh, but after I saw the first three that I did, I'm actually in love with this paint. Uh, I'm probably gonna do a set of wheels for mine, so I'm trying to open this thing. Okay, hold on. When it comes to the clear coat, there is no light coat first and wait 10 minutes. We're gonna throw this thing thick, really thick, but thick enough that it won't, that it won't run, okay? So be cautious, throw it thick, but not too thick. You know what I mean. Now 
Now right now it looks glossy, but when it dries, it's gonna dry not glossy. It's gonna look matte. A little later. video I hope you guys understand exactly what I was trying to explain to you when it comes to you guys doing these wheels I hope this helps you this is this could save you a lot of money I mean painting these wheels or powder coating this wheel can be up to five six hundred bucks by doing this I mean each can is about eight dollars uh, you need one can per wheel if you're trying to do the whole thing or one can per two wheels if you're just trying to do the face like I did. So eight dollars a piece, the same thing with the aircraft uh, stripper. If you want, you can just sand it down also. Don't forget to buy the uh, the wheel cleaner or the uh, degreaser. Um, every item that you see is going to be listed below. If you have any questions about it, please put them in the com on the comments below and then I'll try to come back in a few days and answer as many as I can. <clears throat> if you have any other idea that I can do while I'm here at the house trying to stay away from this COVID-19 stuff, uh, let me know, I can I have time in my hand, I can come up with some new videos, so uh, comment down below uh, if you have any questions or any other ideas that you guys have, alright guys? Thank you so much for tuning in, I hope this helps you and saves you money, I'll see you in the next one.